here's your Storm Track 5 weather forecast. Now, meteorologist Ricky Matthews. A few rain showers across the area yesterday, and I think as we go into this afternoon, we'll see a few more of those. Maybe a little bit more widespread, though, in terms of coverage. I think some heavy rainfall also possible this afternoon. Now, nothing out there this morning. Let's check out some time-lapse video from Bays Mountain in Kingsport and watch the sun come up over the Kingsport region. We'll start around 6.30 and time-lapse it through the last, oh, say, 45 minutes or so, 7, 11 a.m., and take a live look outside. You can see the bright orange blob in the sky of the sun coming up over Kingsport. A nice sight on this Saturday, but that'll also allow for these temperatures to go up. 63 right now for the Jonesville area, 62 for the Tri-Cities, about 66 in Wise, 68 towards the Avenue region, 64 in Marion, and 61 in Clintwood. Now, we're going to be tracking the chance for a few showers this afternoon with a big story, a warm weekend. Probably going to want to jump in the pool this afternoon because it'll be so warm. The holiday weekend, not perfect, you know, with the scattered rain chances around, but not a washout by any means either. Just keep an umbrella handy and keep an eye to the sky this afternoon as well. Now, nothing on LIMAX radar this morning. All of this is ground clutter or false returns. The radar not actually picking up rain. It's picking up something else in the sky and really just a little inversion that it picks up. Now, high pressure is dominating our weather pattern. That's keeping... Our rain chance is decently low, but I think for today, with a little disturbance coming through the area, we'll have a better chance for rain. Future tracks showing some scattered showers and storms forming around 1 to 2 o'clock this afternoon. And then the showers and storms push through the rest of the region as we go into the later portion of the afternoon. Now, these showers and storms won't really be moving too much. So if you get caught underneath one of them, you could get some very heavy rainfall and be stuck underneath that storm for a while. So keep that in mind if you have any afternoon outside plans. Now, as we go into the evening and overnight hours, the skies will eventually clear out. We'll be left with partly cloudy skies through the overnight. Chance for some fog with the rainfall today falling. Help to moisten up the air and give us a chance for some fog overnight. Then as we go into Sunday, I think we'll do it all over again. Maybe a lesser chance of rain, though. Only about 30% chance on Sunday afternoon. So severe threat tracker for this afternoon. We're in the medium category because of some of those scattered downpours. We'll say isolated storms tomorrow, so we'll lower it just a little bit. Town by town for today, let's show you what your highs will be and rain chances. 86 for the Tri-Cities, 85 towards Duffield, 86 for Rogersville and Greenville. About a 40% chance of storms there. 40% chance of storms in the mountains of Tennessee and North Carolina as well. And around 79 in Norton this afternoon, 83 in Grundy with some scattered storms possible. As we go into the overnight hours, temperatures will drop down into the low to mid-60s. How about 64 for the Tri-Cities, 66 towards Greenville. Isolated shower possible overnight, mainly early in the overnight hours. Otherwise, partly cloudy skies and a little bit of fog forming. Keep that in mind. 59 for Mountain City, 62 in Marion, 60 in Boone, and then around 60 for Norton tonight, 61 in Clintwood, and 65 in Grundy. How about your par cast for today? Check this out. If you have plans to head out to the golf course, 73 this morning, maybe get the game in early because as we go into noon, it'll heat up and the chances for rain will also go up. So maybe head out there early. Remember, if lightning strikes nearby, you're going to want to head inside. If you hear thunder, you're close enough to be struck by lightning. Check out your 7 day forecast. Temperatures staying nice and warm in the mid-80s for the next three days. 30 to 20% chance of storms as we go into Labor Day. Labor Day is actually a Monday there, not Tuesday. As we go into the next couple of days, nice weather, but just an afternoon chance for some scattered showers and storms. Nothing too widespread, Christy, but just keep that in mind, especially the outdoor plans on Labor Day for mm -hmm. Monday. I do not, but <laughs> hanging on to those summer-like temperatures for a little while longer. A little bit longer, yeah. Lots of people say Labor Day is officially the mm -hmm. unofficial end of summer, but... yeah. You know, we'll hang on to it as long as we'll we can. We'll hang on to it as long as we can. I don't <laughs> want 13 degrees to come around anytime no, soon. No, me either. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Ricky. Well, next on New